So this is a mobile app that was done for Toretti Realty. And we're very happy with this app. It's got a lot of really cool features in it. And what we find is that any realtors uh, in, in any country, in fact, and can make use of uh, these or, or different, uh, maybe a subset of these features. Uh, well, Toretti's got a pretty uh, a complete set of uh, features here. So if we look at the, the homepage, um, what we're able to do, what we see is that it's asking us for our current location. Um, because this is a uh, done on a, a computer, not on a, a mobile device, I'm just going to say don't allow. But what that actually does for us is it, it, we're able to give 10 by 10 directions to properties. Um, so if you're going to be, as a realtor, if you're going to be meeting a potential client, a potential buyer or investor, um, or if you want to view a property, uh, you can get 10 by 10 directions, which is a, a pretty neat feature. And that's just using the GPS uh, features of the, of the standard smartphone. So on this, we have a one button call feature. Uh, so nobody has to remember uh, you know, a long series of digits, phone number, and uh, they can just press that button to call the office or to call an individual agent, um, because these can be these apps can be individualized uh, for an for an agent. Um, and as we we usually do in in our apps, we have a tell tell a friend feature, which allows um, other people to uh, download the app, and thereby you're getting uh, more clients that use the app. So the office uh, location, um, of course, it can't be our, our location can't be determined because I said don't allow. Um, but we do get a map of um, of the area, the immediate area. And again, you have the call us uh, um, button, one button there. And we have a website, so you can go to their HTML5 with their mobile um, website, and also send an email uh, to there. So if if you if the, this app knew where we were, we can say, click on the get here button in the top right, and that would give us directions, but we're not going to do that in this, uh, in this instance. Now, this is a, a, a good feature for when somebody is looking to sell their property. Um, they can actually take a photo of it and send it to the real estate agent. So you don't even need to have somebody go out to the property necessarily. Um, and, uh, Take a take a photo of the property. Um, this this is usually good enough. I, we find for a lot of realtors, uh, and they like this feature because it's uh, it makes it easy just to get things uploaded onto the site and everything. And we have here a, a mortgage calculator. Uh, so this is good because a lot of borrowers um, they like to get an idea about what their um, annual and monthly um, obligations are going to be when it comes to a mortgage when they when they buy a property. So this is a uh, a pretty neat feature uh, that potential buyers uh, take advantage of. So let's scroll across at the bottom here, and here we have a, a client wall. So the client wall is is basically a way of gathering testimonials. So as realtors um, sell properties uh, or buy sell properties for people or uh, handle buyers, um, those individuals, those clients can actually put a testimonial up into the mobile app itself. So anybody who has an app, has the app, um, sees these testimonials. Uh, the, the, the realtors themselves do have the last word on whether things get put up because they don't want any necessarily any negative comments, clearly. Um, but in, in general, they're going to want to uh, post these, these comments online or, or on the app itself. The info tab uh, is just giving you information about the company itself. So we have um, testimonials from sellers, testimonials from buyers. Um, we also have sell with Torelli. So this is um, just giving standard kind of verbiage for the company about why you want to choose this particular company and so on. And this, this kind of information is on a, in most realtors websites. And then of course we have the properties themselves. Um, so here we have, if you want to look for us, do a search on the property, you can actually do that. Uh, and that's a pretty neat feature. Um, 
just click on that so here you can see any properties you've re recently viewed and, and remember this is this is from the point of view of the app user so somebody looking to purchase a property for example would have viewed a number of properties and it will be um, in this particular tab here all the ones that have been viewed any favorites that have been highlighted uh, any feature properties and so on so it's a pretty neat feature uh, where you can do a search um, by location and so on uh, and it will choose properties in that particular zip code uh, or postcode or whatever okay so that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool and then of course you can look at things which are nearby uh, in that area uh, if you want to broaden your search parameters somewhat and we have communities so depending on the location you're going to have different residential areas which are known this is uh, um, obviously going to be specific to the realtor uh, and the properties can be classified according to the actual community in which they reside we have a, a newsroom uh, and here there's any kind of newsworthy information that uh, as, as a realtor you want to get out and this can be put out as an RSS feed um, so it's automatically populated into the app um, and then so people can can either read it or if it's a podcast they can they can listen to it and it's a pretty powerful way of communicating with clients as an individual realtor you might actually have uh, for example in this case some kind of social media LinkedIn uh, site or LinkedIn page um, that your clients as an individual realtor can, can follow you on. Um, you might have a blog as well uh, that they can access. Uh, and again, this is updated um, in, in real time. So once you post a new blog, it gets put in, it gets uh, updated into the app itself. So it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty good stuff. And again, as I said, depending on the size of the realtor, it could be one app for the whole company in which case the the, the agents share it um, or it can be uh, one app per per agent uh, here we have some selling tips and and, and this is you know, what we find is that clients always like this um, the end clients the users of the app they want to know you know what can they do to sell their property faster uh, what they can what can they do to buy the buy right uh, at the right time um, any kind of value-added information that uh, realtors can do um, it is always welcome so the tips the tips feature is is actually pretty good and here we have a real estate guide uh, this is link linking to a government web page. Uh, it looks like this particular page is, is out of date uh, in, in this, but uh, if you have any um, maybe surveyors or, or those types of links and government or official agency to link to, um, they usually have some good information there. Uh, and that's, uh, that's something that, that we would certainly advise. And the image gallery is, is exactly what it says. It's just, pictures of uh, usually the, the best looking properties um, to entice uh, to entice clients to to look further into your portfolio to see what you've got uh, you can see this as a slideshow automatically scrolling through these different images um, and it's, it's always a nice nice to have feature and if you want people to click to come onto your main list if you have a, a newsletter then this is also a very important feature uh, grab in people's uh, email address and name um, but let's not forget that with a mobile app uh, you do have the, the very powerful feature of actually being able to push messages to clients so like an SMS you, you're able to send messages out to anyone who has a smartphone and has downloaded your app you don't need their, their uh, phone number you don't need their email address and best of all you don't even have to pay for it um, push, push messages are, are free on our platform and you can be sure this is something that's used uh, extensively for communicating with with clients and then you have the contact us uh, page um, so this is just a standard form uh, somebody would fill out to 
ask questions or comment, make comments and so on. Um, the kind of thing you would, you would expect to see. Uh, more information about the company. So finding an agent where you can list all the different agents that you've got, um, go into their, their bios and so on. Um, very useful when you have a very large, uh, very large outfit. Um, and you can look at some updates. So this is uh, updates for the mobile app, for example. So thank you for downloading our, our mobile app. And YouTube videos. Now YouTube is, is a very powerful and underused uh, method for selling real estate. Uh, videos are very, very powerful. And these could be um, showing you walkthroughs through a, an apartment or a house. Um, and so when, whenever it's possible, to have videos uh, to help you sell properties, we, we highly recommend it because there's a lot of, um, the clients really react well to that. Then you have the social media. So if you have a Facebook page, uh, whether it's the company or the individual uh, realtor, um, people love Facebook and, and tying your Facebook advertising uh, to the mobile app. So people can, who go to your Facebook page from say, um, who, who don't have your app, they may see a, a, a QR coupon, a QR code rather, to, to download your app. So they have a code they can they can scan from Facebook, for example, and they can download your app from there. And and that really wraps it up for uh, what we can do for realtors. Uh, it's a it's a very powerful software and, and system, uh, and the idea is that it gets your clients engaged. You're able to um, contact them more frequently so they can they can buy the properties from you rather than your competition. Uh, it's a, a very, very powerful means to, to complement what you're doing in, the, in your website, in your social media, and your other online advertising. And uh, we very highly recommend it. Thanks for listening.